Hey everyone, Raider Odin here. Welcome back to Let's Play XCOM. In our last video, we conquered and dominated a terror mission that was supposed to shake, you know, shake my faith in my group, but I stood firm, took care of the council mission, or not the council mission, took care of the terror mission, no problem. And now we have a medium UFO that's been shot down in Japan, and we're sending our team to take care of that. We've got our rookie Chris with us this time. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get him trained up. Maybe he'll become a sniper. That'd be very nice. And we got our med pack with uh, Jocelyn, our savior. And let's go. Man, April has been a rough month for XCOM. Rough month. Failed the council mission. Lost two soldiers during that. Lost Tim and Scott already. But uh, hopefully we'll do better here. Looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. So we have a woody area, which I do not like. I like urban centers, but we will see. Maybe things will work out. Can't we just like bomb this shit out of this place? and then just come in later on. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike one is ready to secure the craft. Copy, Big Sky. Strike one is clear to attempt the breach. Like, isn't this like the world's last hope? Like, don't we have like fighter jets with like missiles we just carpet bomb this place? Like, here's a medium UFO. As you can tell, it's freaking gigantic compared to the small one. We gotta look for meld as well. With our cybernetics labs almost done, getting meld will be very, very, very key. So I will, I will like to get meld if possible. I forgot to reorganize my team. I got James in the back, which is not good. That's okay, though. Not a big deal. I'll be taking this mission very slow, very slow. All right. Let's, uh, let's take a look. There's the melt, I see it. Yes, Commander. Alright, Chris. Count on you, man. 80 aim. You're amazing. Jocelyn with Sprinter can move so far. I love it. Moving to position. Let's overwatch this shit. Is. As you can see, the blazer rifles make a huge difference. I can one-shot sectoids. I can, you know, one-shot sometimes the the floaters and the Thin men with this. Absolutely vital to have the laser weapons as soon as possible. It makes the early game much easier. Yeah, let's have Mary move towards the melds. Five turns for that meld, that's fine. Now, they're usually aliens inside the UFO if it's a medium one. They don't tend to sit outside the UFO as much. Let's move uh, James here. Good, good. Let's move Chris to the cover. And let's move Jocelyn up just a tad. I didn't like how she went around that log. God, that was scary. Are those damn aliens. Straight ahead, apparently. Okay, I'm gonna move Mary in case I want to rock it. We'll move James. No, I don't want to move James in case you're running a gun. I'll move Chris first. All right, Chris, you're first. Go. Nothing? I hate it when there's nothing. I also hate it when there's something. So this game just, I just, I hate this game. I hate this game. I don't like how the meld is in front of the door to the alien ship. Like, I'm gonna have to look inside to get the meld, and I, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't want to look inside. I just want to grab the meld and go home. I just want to grab the meld and go home. Just be nice to me, game. Oh, here they are. Oh, Seekers. Oh, Seekers are nothing now. I have laser rifles. See? Four damage. Come, move some more. Move towards me some more. Nope, oh, nope. Already stealthed. Damn. 
Oh, there's a hole in the wall here. Then that hole is not always there. Which means if there's aliens in here, they will see me when I try to grab this meld, which is less than ideal. <sighs> don't want to do that. No, I don't want to move him first. I want to move uh, Jocelyn first. All right. Please, no aliens. <laughs> Shit. Please stay there so I can rocket you. Oh no, they're flanking me too. All right, Jocelyn. Or not Jocelyn, Mary. Mary can rocket two of them. Uh, unfortunately, the one I can't get is in full cover. So Chris, you'll go here. Maybe Overwatch. James, could you potentially run and gun one? No, that's no way. Um, okay, this is definitely a rocket situation. Two floaters for the price of one. Can't tell. This floater is red, right? It's highlighted. It's going to get hit. Yeah, it's definitely within the blast radius. Yeah, that has to be a rocket. It's definitely a rocket. Jocelyn cannot stay there because she's flanked. Chris, you come here. Full cover. What? No, you should be able to see. Ugh, fuck, fuck this game. All right, Jocelyn, you come here, or do I have you come over like here? Is there gonna be more aliens over here? Is the game gonna troll me? No, it shouldn't be. This should be a safe move. If this isn't, this game sucks. Okay, it's a safe move. And then James, you... Well, you're in half cover already, so why don't you just okay. come here and overwatch and try to shoot the uh, try to shoot the Seekers when they pop out. Or you can shoot the... That's, kill that! I'm okay. Chris, kill it! Close, close. That's fine. It's fine. Five damage. Can't complain. James, kill it. James. <sighs> okay, I know who we can count on. We can count on Chris. He's in the open. He's not going to take a shot from there, is he? Yeah, he ran away. Okay, that's fine. He ran by that log. Okay. Now, where's the Seeker? Alright, they're going to grab Jocelyn. That's fine. That's fine. We'll kill it. We'll kill it next turn. Now, I think the other one's moving right now. Okay. Can I maybe find out where the other one is? If I was the other Seeker, I'd be after Chris. He's slightly more exposed. Nah, I don't know where he is. I can't see him. Nah, that's tricky. Tricky dicky. Chris, you got a shot on... 80%?! Oh, Chris, please! Please, do it. Make things easy for me. Nice work. Nice work. Nice work. And we'll get a shot on this guy with Mary. That's a whiff, but no big deal. She can shoot twice because she has Bullet Swarm. Jocelyn's catching her breath, which means she can... You just reload this turn. Next turn, I gotta grab the meld. Next turn, I gotta grab the meld. So you overwatch for that last seeker, James. No? No? Just gonna run away? A big chicken? A big sissy? Where are you? Hmm. Okay. Well, Jocelyn's definitely gonna grab the meld. She has to this turn. Where is that seeker? I'm gonna grenade you and shoot you. I wanna find you, damn it. Ah, oh, I can't. I don't know where he is. This is impossible. I'll never find him this way. That's fine. It's fine. Whatever. 
Let's group my guys up and um Make sure you pull out the laser rifle. Oh, and then uh, Mary should reload because she's running low on bullets. <sighs> there he is. Oh, you're so dead. <laughs> nice try. Nice try, Seeker. Nice try. Good try. Good try. You tried. All right. Last meld container might be in the UFO. That happens sometimes. That happens. Uh, can't see it, so shucks to be me. Okay, well, we'll just move up a little bit and reload if we don't see anything. Nothing. I'm gonna move to this doorway next turn. That's the Pran. That's the Pran. So Mary's got all her bullets. She can overwatch. Everyone else reloads. Should I heal Jocelyn? She's missing two health. Hmm. That might be a key heal because four health means she dies from a plasma rifle shot. Six means she... Well, she could also die from a plasma rifle shot depending on the damage range. I think it's four to six. So it means she could survive. So this way she's dead no matter what. But if she's at six, she could survive a lucky hit. That's at low HP. So we'll see. We'll see. I might. I might med pack her this turn. I got three uses. Like that. At such a velocity, the materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an order of magnitude beyond any elements we know of. Yep. Yeah, it probably is. Probably is, considering they're space traveling super aliens with laser pistols and plasma guns and you know crazy shit like that. Most likely, most likely. I will move Mary. Here. Yeah, I think Jocelyn is gonna mid pack herself. Yes. All right. Oh, the last meld is inside the UFO. Cool. In fact, it's probably in this room. Roger that. Okay. I'm on it, Commander. Oh, I'm so nervous. No game makes you nervous like this game does. Alright, let's stack our assault here. So you can storm in at max range. Mary, with her double shot, will go here for coverage, and she can rock it. Jocelyn will sprint her, will go there. And then rookie Chris will go around this corner and watch our back in case something happens. No overwatches this turn because I'm inside and it should be fairly safe. Okay, I'm expecting there to be two more packs. Two more packs of aliens in this level. Here we go. There should be an outsider in here. No. Okay, the outsider is in here then. Or he could be over here, I'm thinking. Um, nope, he's not here. Outsider is not here. All right, then he is in there. The alien flight computer could prove to be extremely useful in our own research. Please take great care in returning it to the base in one piece. You got, you got it, Doctor Valen. Trust me, I need the money from selling that thing. <laughs> I know she probably wants to do research on it. I just want to pawn it off for money so I can build more stupid power generators for my freaking base. Oh, Chris, you're gonna come here. Come here. Next turn, it's gonna be open season. Where the hell is that mill? I never saw it. I think the mill. I think the outsider's in there. Where the hell is the mill? Is it inside? 
Oh, maybe it's like on the other side of the UFO. Maybe it's like over here. So no, this is the edge of the map. Oh, there it is. Holy cow, they put that melt so far away. Yeah, the outsider is definitely in here. It has to be. Where is he? It's fucked. There's no point. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna run in there, guns blazing. What if there's two packs in there? No, 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 let's not be hasty. No, let's just open the door like a normal, safe playthrough. There he is. Alright, let's blast his face. Come towards me, come towards me. Yes, yes. Medium UFO outsiders are generally very easy to kill because they have nowhere to hide. They always hide in these command rooms, and then when you open the door, they can't go anywhere. So it's just like a free kill. Chris, let's give you this kill. Didn't want it, man. He didn't want it bad enough. Alright, in that case, uh, let's give the kill to... Let's give the kill to our assault. Don't we give it to our assaults? No, let's give it to Mary. I want Mary to have this kill. That should have been a flanking shot. I don't know why it wasn't. That's it?! Six aliens and a medium UFO? I even got both the melds. Operation Lone Knife. That's right. Mmm, so good. Yes. I feel so proud of myself. That was a short mission. That was pretty good. Welcome home. Welcome home. I applaud you. Took care of that mission. No problem. Jocelyn better not be injured. She is. No. Chris is a sniper. Thank you, Chris. All right, Boom Boom got a promotion. Uh, the reason I wanted her to get a promotion is because of Danger Zone. Increases the area effect of suppression and all rocket attacks by two tiles, which means her rockets can hit like insane everywhere. Her aim only went up one. That, that kind of sucks, dude. You need some better aim, Mary. But we're definitely grabbing Danger Zone for her. Jocelyn promoted to Lieutenant. She can revive a uh, crudely wounded soldiers to fight at 33% of maximum health instead of just stabilizing. Not very useful because you should not be letting your soldiers get critically wounded. And if you do, just generally not worth it. i much rather have suppression. Fires abroad, that pins down target. It's just like the, um, it's just like the, uh, heavy suppression. Green. Oh, rapid fire. So good. I'm so glad he got a promotion. So you can learn Flush. Fire is a shot that causes enemies to run out of cover. The shot is easy to hit with, but does reduce damage, which is kind of useful. And Rapid Fire. Takes two shots against a single target in quick succession. Each shot carries a 15 aim penalty. When you run up next to someone with running gun and then you rapid fire them in the face, the 15 aim penalty is ne negligible. It allows you to do double damage. It allows you to pretty much kill chrysalids in one hit, kill thin men in one hit, kill whatever you want in one hit. And Chris, our sniper... Headshots. All right. Finally, look at this. 90 aim. That's what I'm talking about. And once I give him a scope, it will be 100 aim. And I'm definitely giving him a scope. Definitely giving him a scope. Got another urban combat badge. Nice. Three floater corpses, some Illyrium. Meld, UFO, fly computers. Three of them. Two power sources. This is why I wanted to meet him UFO in month one. So I could sell all this for cash. So we're hella selling all of this. Oh, we're rich now. $120, we're practically rolling in money. That means as soon as... Okay, first of all, power generator. Yes, power generator. As soon as officer training school is done in one day, I'm able to get some upgrades. Cybernetics lab, I'll be able to get a mech soldier immediately. Experimental warfare in three days. Alright, our team is barely, we don't have any backup soldiers. If anything was to happen to these guys, I am so screwed. And Andrew, our backup, is waiting in the wings. Should I hire two more soldiers? <sighs> that would be the smart thing to do. Hire some more soldiers, just in case. Let's see, what am I going to have to build this month? A mech soldier? And do a research. So I don't have that much money actually to spare. I can't hire these soldiers. I'm not going to. I'm going to trust my skills and hope that I can um, pull this through without any backup. 
Yes, officer training school done. One of the most important buildings in the entire base. Woo! Which means now I go to the barracks, officer training school, and get some upgrades. One of the most important upgrades, squat size. Increases your squat size to five soldiers. Definitely want that. Squat size 2 for 75, I want that as soon as possible. Another one that's very important is new guy. New soldiers are automatically promoted to the squatty rank. Which means no more rookies, they come with a class already determined for them. Rapid recovery, so good. Soldiers heal twice as fast from combat wounds. Lead by example, the squad leader substitutes his or her will for that of all lower nearby teammates. So good. Wet work, good. Iron will. Soldiers receive a larger will bonus each time they are promoted. What you want to do is grab iron will kind of early on, hire some rookies, rank them up. They'll have insane will, which you will need later on. But yeah, my next goal is to get squad size 2. That's my priority. Then I'll probably get maybe rapid recovery, maybe iron will. Followed very soon by new guy. Lead by example, I'll get after wet works, I'll get last because this is not. It's good, but. I just can't afford it right now. All the other ones take priority. So now I can bring five people onto onto missions, which is so good, so important. All right, these two in two days. Another council mission? Oh no! Oh, this is the other DLC pack, Operation Slingshot. I love the two engineers and two scientists. I did not expect to get this this early. Holy shit. Okay. A member of the Triad criminal organization has reached out to one of our contacts. Although we have little interest in the man himself, he allegedly has in possession a piece of unique technology. We'll need you to investigate. We will transmit further details to Central. So it doesn't tell you anything about the mission. But we're going to go. I did not expect to get this council mission this month. That's insane. Two council missions in one month? I would love to get the officer training school upgrade. I'm probably going to go grab that. So, yeah, let's do that. I am going to sell the flight computer for 40. That puts me at 50. Sell two floater corpus. That puts me at 60. I need 15 more dollars. No. That's 75 bucks. We are going to grab squad size 2 to have 6 soldiers. Which means that we can bring all of our soldiers, I think. So, boom boom. Bull. Chris, our sniper, who I put my snipers in white. Becky, our support, will carry a laser rifle. She doesn't have the med kit upgrade yet, so no med kits. Rookie Mir, Adi Mir, and Rookie Andrew. So you're also going to carry a laser rifle. Well, if we're bringing Mir on this mission, we need to give him a name. Who should this be? This will be... Andrew, different Andrew, L. I need to build one more laser rifle for Andrew L. And I need to build a pistol for Chris. Which means I need how much more dollars? 19, 7, so I need 26 more dollars. 26 more dollars. So all this selling I'm doing is gonna kick me in the ass later on when I need to research things and I don't have enough like weapon fragments and stuff. But for the sake of the early game, this has to be done. I need to get there before I worry about that. Because if I don't do the best I can to get there, all this shit's going to hit all the fans. And Chris gets a laser pistol. 
All right, this is our team. Six soldiers, finally, finally, finally. We have six soldiers in our squad. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna go do the second council mission in the month of April, Friends in Low Places. A very difficult mission if I remember correctly from the past, but it should be good, it should be good. So stay tuned and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching everybody, take care.